happy Friday, Lost Tube. Uh, today is Friday, February the 16th, 16th, 16th. My name is Caroline, welcome back. Um, today's video is mostly a Floss Tube video, a little bit of vlog style today. I'm gonna take you with me throughout my day. Um, it is for me day three of my Salentine stitching. I'll put a photo in here of uh, I will have I will have shown in the intro day one day two so we're on day three I've counted my uh, stitches for the vases which puts me at about 200 and uh, what did I figure out it was again 214 stitches total for both of the vases and because my stitch count daily stitch count was a little bit higher for day one day two um, I'm not I'm gonna go a little bit under the 230 daily stitches today so the two vases that's gonna be day three stitching all right, so i um, got a giveaway to take care of today, so why don't we find out who is the lucky winner? Okay, so um, just as a reminder, the giveaway that was up for grabs from last Friday's video was um, my copy, because I finished mine, of Darling Starling by Modern Folk Embroidery. And I had a 25 gram Roxy Flosco surprise pack um a little heart notions pouch a chickadee needle minder yeah that was it i thought there was some one other thing but no so this was the prize pack let's find out who is our winner to put all the information into the thing so let's pick the winner does its little magic trick here and congratulations, Marianne Johnson 5410. Congratulations, Marianne. You are the winner. And your comment says, Love the floss holder your dad made you. How do you protect the floss from dust? Or at my house, it would also be cat fur. Well, um, I try to move it around often. I pet my floss. I, I go and I give it a big hug. <laughs> I don't find it gets overly dusty. And I have a dog. Luna's here with me every day. Um, I don't find that it gets overly dusty. Generally, you know, as long as it's not sitting there for six months or whatever, and you're, you know, use, rifling through your, your projects, it, it shouldn't, I don't have a problem with it. Anyways, Marianne, congratulations. You are the winner of last Friday's giveaway. I believe I have your, your address, but if you wouldn't mind sending me an email, caroline at evertote.ca. That way I can um, make sure that we get that out to you in a timely manner. I had a giveaway winner for one of the canvas kits that I'm not sure that I've heard from. Um, so if this rings a bell, the summer kit, and I'll try to dig up the, the name again. I know I have it written down in my book who won the summer canvas kit. I'm still looking for that one winner. And I believe maybe one or two of the embroidery magazine uh, giveaways from a couple weeks ago. Okay, I do have another giveaway for today, but I'll, uh, I'll share that with you in a little bit because I've got some work to do. So let's get to it. Can you hear Luna whining? Listen carefully. I've got her closed in here with me because some of the Evertote team are trying to eat their lunch. <laughs> and if I don't keep her in here, she stands there. And she stands there right beside them and stares at them for half an hour. She's not very happy with me at the moment. <laughs> Suzanne. Suzanne was the wonderful stitcher who gifted this beautiful floss drop and bling. Um, packaged to me at Stitch North last year and fortunately I'm so happy that she saw my video from the other day and saw that I was going to be using this so she left me a comment and saying it was it was uh, something that she'd made so Suzanne thank you thank you again I know I thanked you when you gave it to me but I'm so glad that you left me a comment because now I have a face and a name to put with this gift that I'm using I love it so I've got all my floss Neat, neatly tucked on here. I've used the sticker to write the name right on there and everything has been 
yeah, neat and tidy. So use the things. And there's one vase done. So we just need to do the exact same thing over on the right side. I, I, um, I tracked down the winner of that summer logs canvas kit because I knew that I'd, I'd heard from all five winners. And so I just had to go on a bit of a deep dive into my email. So don't worry. I've, uh, solved that mystery and I've now, uh, contacted the winner and she had already sent me her address. So that kit is now on the way to where it needs to be. Matt's trying to get Luna to, uh, <laughs> He, he's herding her back in here because she's been wandering the building for the entire day. So, thanks Matt. I believe this child is yours. <laughs> she belongs in here. Um, so, giveaway for today. We have a new giveaway for today. I had shown you that I had some extra floss from the Salentine's box and We've got it all properly, well, neatly uh, wound up and put on some cards just for ease. These are not full skeins. They're, you know, the ends of the hanks that we wind. So I have got uh, floss, enough floss, plenty of floss, because I have one leftover chart from the boxes. So this is the chart, this is the booklet chart that had the exclusive three extra charts on it. So I'm going to send this out to one winner. So just no extra word needed in today's giveaway video. Just leave me a comment. If you leave me a comment, I'll consider that you're entered in it. Um, so that is one giveaway because I have three giveaways today. The second giveaway is actually not coming from me. It's coming from a viewer and stitcher named Brittany. Brittany W, who, congratulations, Brittany, um, had a little baby girl about six months ago. So she's a brand new mama. And um, she contacted me a couple of days ago and said that she had decided to stitch something else um, to participate in the Salentine's event and she's stitching uh, the Modern Folk Embroidery uh, Love Letters instead. And so she has a chart to give away. She's also going to include one skein each of Oink, Raspberry Puree, and Honeymoon. And she said she will send it anywhere in the world. So please leave me a comment below and I am going to actually also choose the winner for Brittany's giveaway as well. I'll let her know via email in one week next Friday when we choose the winners and she will mail it out to you. So thanks again, Brittany, for offering that up. It was really very kind. Now that is the, Brittany's copy is the one that does not have the extra three. So she's gonna be sending out um, this, this pattern. Okay, giveaway number three. We had a big shop update yesterday um, here at Evertote, and we made some unicorn bags. And we had one where we flipped what I wanted, I wanted to put the accent on the bottom of the bag. So it's a unicorn and with the paler fabric, we had put the pink accent at the bottom. There's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't match all the other bags. And so uh, I'm going to send this out for a giveaway because it's so cute, right? And so you're gonna get the medium project bag as well as a 50 gram floss surprise pack. So. That's my third giveaway for you today. Third, uh, it's a 50 gram Roxy Floss Co. surprise pack. Now we do, these surprise packs are just like what you see here with when we have ends. It's perfectly usable floss. It's wonderful floss. It's just we can't get eight full yards out of it or maybe there's a knot in it or maybe there's a dye bleed in it. And so it is put to the side as a second you know, or the end. And so we then put them together into uh, 25 gram and 50 gram surprise packs because you never know what you're gonna get. The, sometimes they're not even labeled. Sometimes it's just the floss with no card or it has a card and there's no name on it. So it really is a mystery surprise. But, okay, where was I? Jimmy Joe over here, Luna Tuna just completely distracted me. Uh, so 50 gram floss pack, all of surprise and medium project bag unicorn so leave me a comment below again 
don't I don't want to check for a word just leave me a comment if you'd like to win a give one of the giveaways today okay so that's it happy Friday all right I am going to um, go and make myself a cup of coffee and then I am going to take 20 minutes and I'm going to stitch this second vase on our Salentine there you go two vases complete 216 stitches done day three okay it is much later in the day uh it's almost three o'clock and i finished up most of my to-do list for the day um i did finish that second vase with my a little bit of coffee break earlier so i did i did already show this but let's let's admire it one more time so day three 216, 216 stitches, so I'm right on track. So tomorrow, for day four, I am going to, I'm going to work my way up each side of the blue borders. So I'm gonna put, um, what did I find? Today was approximately four, I'm stitching on 40 count, uh, one strand of floss over two, and each vase, took two strands of floss, which turned out to be approximately 216 stitches. So if I do, I'm gonna aim for five strands of floss tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to be working on these two borders for day four. And then day five, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to stitch the flowers in here and maybe these small motifs here, keeping an eye on the number, making sure I'm hitting that 230 stitches a day number. That's day five which will take me to uh, Sunday. And then on Monday, um, I'm going to stitch anything that's remaining inside this rectangle that hasn't been stitched yet. So probably this central motif here. And then whatever is remaining, I'll go um, back to the border, stitch there. And then on Tuesday, Tuesday will be my next video day, my next um, video day that I do an update on YouTube here and I'm going to be uh, going in and aiming to do those reindeer there. So that's the plan. I will be posting my progress every day over on Instagram. My account is at Evertotes. Um, I'll put that in the description box below if you want to give me a follow. Um, and I will be posting in my stories daily. We do have a hashtag on Instagram. It is hashtag stitching Salentine and yeah, I hope that you're having fun. All right, so I have I have a little bit more to, to show you, but I'll have to come back in a little bit. Um, I, I've got a I've got a little fo to share with you, and it's so cute. And anyways, but there's something else that I wanted to show you at the same time. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. I found it. So this chart, Lizzie Kate, Coffee Time number 183, has three small charts in it called Today's Good Mood, Dear Coffee, and But First, Coffee. So you can see those there. So I have stitched two of these charts. This is the only one that I haven't done. Today's Good Mood is sponsored by coffee. So now I'm thinking I kind of, I kind of have to stitch that now too, right? Then they'd all be done. So mm, a few years ago now, I stitched But First, Coffee, and I turned it into a little notions pouch. I even have a little donut zipper pull on there. So super cute. This was a really fun stitch. And then last year, 2023, at some point, I don't remember exactly when, but I stitched the Dear Coffee. So my friend Neil framed a few pieces for me. And one of them was Hibernation Day by Heartstring Samplery. And it is, so good it is so good it turned out even better than I could have even hoped it would turn out but it's at home so I will show that finish to you next week but I do have the other piece that Neil framed for me here and it's the other one of the Lizzie Cates that I finished dear coffee so isn't that cute it turned out so well I love it now let me show you where I'm going to put it because I actually have, this is, um, 
this is my uh, the my space where I do all of my my sort of email and admin work but I have a sewing space next door where I have some more pieces on the wall and most of you many of you have seen them before but let me show you where I'm gonna hang my new okay so here's my wall directly above my sewing machine and if I take you back you can see I'll tell you a little bit about these that piece there was a thrift store find that my friend Dawn found in Sarnia, which is quite close to where I live here in London, Ontario. That piece down there is a Just Nan. Oh, I cannot remember the title of it, but my friend Kathy, who is Neil's wife, uh, she stitched that as one of their shop models. They used to own my local needlework shop here in London. That there is the Inn at Fox River Mill. Uh, Little House Needleworks, I love this. That's stitched two over two on 36 count with the called for flosses. Then we have another Little House Needleworks. I can't remember what this one was called. I stitched this for my son when he was born. And I just love those little sheep. They're so cute. Try to get the light to stop glaring on. There, you can see that. So cute. And then over here, we have my two coffee pieces because I'd love to have a whole coffee wall, but I need to finish some more pieces first. Again, Little House Needleworks, ye old coffee house. There's just something about a Little House Needleworks pattern. They're just really fun to stitch. So ye old coffee house, and then we have an Alessandra Adelaide coffee design that I stitched uh, one over one on 32 count. So it's tiny, 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 tiny. But isn't that good? Yeah. This was a challenge to stitch because my thread, um, I stitched it with the called for DMC and the, because it was so small and I, my lengths of floss were probably a little bit too long. The floss kept shredding. Uh, but the end result is fantastic. I just love it. Okay, so I am going to put my new Lizzie Kate. See? Right there. It's a perfect spot for it. So that's where it's going to go. I'll report back next week once I actually find my hammer. And uh, Neil made sure he always gives me the hook for it as well. So that's where it's going. And I'll show you next week when I find my hammer and actually put it up on the wall. Okay, so I kind of went down a little bit of a rabbit hole after I um, filmed that little bit in the other room with my, my whip because then I started thinking about finishing that third small. And I knew where my leftover floss was from stitching the Dear Coffee one, so I went and dug it out. So I found my floss. I haven't chosen a fabric yet, but I'm sure I have a scrap around here that I could use that would be just a neutral. So um, the colors that I had that I used on this one were butter chicken, espresso, legendary, and grassy. And these were old flosses in my stash, Roxy Floss Co. So those were what I used for that. And there's another color in here. I'm not sure you can really see it because it's, you know, typical of cover photo. Yeah, you can see today's good mood is sponsored. So good and sponsored are a slightly different color. And then the coffee cup has another color in the middle in that stripe. See how it's kind of a pale blue? And then the white. So butter chicken, legendary, espresso, and I'll use grassy for the mug, but I didn't have that, that sort of in between color. So I just dug through my stash and I, I don't even know what this is because it was one of those ends that wasn't labeled, but it's a slightly lighter color. So I just put it on a card. It didn't even have a card at all. So I just gave it a tag and I think it looks good with espresso. So those two colors will be the colors of the words. It's kind of like a golden brown. It's showing up as more gold on the camera, but 
I think stitched up it's going to be great. So I added that in. I think I have enough legendary left. Actually, that reminds me. I just finished that Darling Starling piece and I only had a t I only had a teeny tiny bit of legendary left. So look. <laughs> I can put those two together. I'll have plenty. They'll be slightly different dialogue, but it doesn't matter. I just won't stitch them right next door to each other. So there we go. Look, I've got plenty of floss and it's just a small project. So when am I going to start it? I don't know, but I just have to find a little scrap of, of linen and I'm kitted up. It's ready to go. I love kitting things up. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love, love, love kitting up projects. It's so fun. All right. Well, it's Friday. I have some more work to do this afternoon before I can pack up to go home. And then I have plans uh, to try to finish the Maximum Cross Stitch, The Honey Thief. And that is this pattern. I have the, uh, somebody asked me, uh, Carrie and I did a floss tube last week and I showed this piece. This is the project, The Honey Thief, by my friend Ellen, Maximum Cross Stitch. And I'm stitching this currently. And I didn't, I, I don't explain myself every time because I forget that, you know, we have new friends coming we make new friends all the time on floss tube and somebody was asking me why are you stitching it when it's already on your wall this is ellen's this is her stitching it's our shop model that she has very generously loaned to me so i have get i have to give these back and i love this piece and i want one for myself so that's why i'm stitching it so i will put in a photo here because i took a photo for instagram not last night but the night before of where i'm at and I'm thinking if I make a concerted push, I might be able to have another Sunday finish this weekend. So fingers crossed. We'll see what we can do. There's still a fair bit of stitching, but the bear is just filling. I've got most of the outline done. I just have to finish his little face. Uh, the bee skep is done. Half of this flower is done, but there's still a lot more stitching to do. So I don't know, but we'll see can't know if you don't try. So I better, I better get to what I'm doing. Finish up. I hope that you have a great weekend. I will see you for another Salentine update video next Tuesday. Take care. I hope that you're well. I hope that you're safe and I hope that you have some stitching to enjoy this weekend and I'll see you on Tuesday. Happy stitching everyone. Take care.